want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. Hello, my name is Mirjagan. I'm, I am your tour guide. I am always your tour guide because that's what I do. I I play games and I explore. We got we got um, episode four of Life is Strange two to finish tonight. Last time on Life is Strange two, we managed to get to Arizona, where Daniel is. We found Daniel. Daniel is being held against his will. Well, kind of against his will, sort of. We have to assume that he's being held against his will. He's been brainwashed by a cult who's using him and his powers to get money off of the churchgoers because everyone, the, 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 the pastor of the, or the, the leader of the cult has got everyone believing that Daniel's powers are from God. Sean was forcibly ejected from the church at gunpoint and threatened with his life if he ever came back. But yeah, Dan Daniel has been brainwashed. And while, uh, when Sean got, got kicked out of the, the church, Aaron, their mother, came up behind him and took him to her hotel, or took Sean to her hotel where he could get cleaned up. And they're, they're going to formulate a plan get into the church to get daniel back that that is where we've left it man didn't clean the pain away but that felt good. The poor guy's been beaten up twice in as many days. <laughs> John has been three freaking days. I love it. Here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? All right, what does Karen have to say? Be right back. We'll find out. Opt out for supplies. I'll grab food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours, if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with their sons Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Please hurry. Wow. This place is quite remote. Bird. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. No. Call Jacob. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait. I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Ooh, Jacob's just as trapped as Daniel is. Only Daniel doesn't realize he's trapped. Jacob knows, though. Jacob definitely knows. Damn. He couldn't really talk. I'm so drained. Right, so what else can we do? Bed. Wait for Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. 
If she comes back. I'm sure she will. She's left all of her belongings there. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair. Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? She remembered. Wow. That'll do. Mm. Although I disagree with the no Just onion bit. You gotta have onion on your cheeseburgers, dude. Your stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. Like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Good question. Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. I like our shirt. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Um. Got some help. We almost didn't. Dad taught us. I mean, all three are good. <laughs> are good answers, and they're all true answers. Um, we almost didn't. We almost didn't. We just kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. All right, why did you leave? Okay. <laughs> we can ask that question. Why did you leave, Karen? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. Yes, right. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Um, that's a, que good, a good question. Did, did their dad know? Did dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. Um, he was heartbroken. He was better than you. Yeah, he was better than you. He was so much better than you. He wouldn't talk about what you did. Like, when I asked why you left, he just said you had to go live your own life. He was right about that. You're just so fucking selfish. All right, what are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Arizona? 
Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. <laughs> I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. But I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> for what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Yeah, I know. We're, we're gonna give. We're gonna be nice to her, I suppose. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Careful, dude. You're still on the FBI's most wanted list. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. And for it being a two-star hotel, it's quite nice. It's looking. Got even got a pool, clean water. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. Yeah, why ghost us? I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. Um, you wanted a clean break? But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Um... You hurt him worse, which is true. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. Yeah, what did... Okay, so what did you do? What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams. And failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out. What really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules. Their faith. Oh, I tried. But I wanted to find my own way. With no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I do agree with her in some Try respects. To that. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. I'm guessing she lives in some kind of, uh... Some kind of commune? The only thing I can think of. Uh, B. Peace? How do you make peace with bailing on your parents 
your husband and your kids. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. Yeah, did you miss us? So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. Mm -hmm. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. We used to do, do so much. much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. As long as you're in, you know, sparsely populated areas. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Yeah, she smokes, huh? Is he gonna bum a cigarette off his mom? Yeah, it's for a smoke. <laughs> Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Oh my god. Got a few left. That that was just too good. Mm. Got his own lighter. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. That in the journal. No oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. <laughs> and then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch. Just... Letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. True. Well then. Shall we? Shall we get back inside? We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Alright, let's change this dressing. Sean. I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this wow, is she got helping your brother. Hold on. You gotta trust me this one time. Yeah, I know. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. 
I also got these, just in case. Walkie-talkies, clever. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Ah, uh, yeah, go on. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Mm. When we have time. Yeah, she's... I think help, helping her shows that we trust her a little bit. And... It'll, uh... Help build the team a bit. Besides, I think he needs a little bit of, uh... A little bit of assistance anyway. Try this on. And now he's a pirate. How do I look? Like a pirate. Great. Thank you, Karen. All you need is a parrot on your shoulder and a skull and crossbones on that patch, and you'll look just like a pirate. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Meeting point, the next day. <sighs> this is 94, 24, over. <sighs> we are waiting I'm for sure the mouse. show up. He better, he promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So oh, the starlings. Daniel. What's he like? A kid. Um... He's a cool kid. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. The church mouse is spotted. The church mouse is entering the church. And there he is. What happened? Punch him. Or not. Can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. It's a good I thing you did, though. kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Yeah, alright. You, you, you did good, kid. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, shocked and mute, and all by himself. I couldn't just leave him there. So you came back here? So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. I bet. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. 
The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Uh, crap. You did nothing. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, oh, crap. I have an Here idea. We go. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time his to sneak into the compound before classes. we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's the one who's sick, I She's think. She's not safe here. She's sick. Yeah, she, yep. I believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. Ah, uh, gee. I know one you of those. understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? Ugh. He will. I know him. Yeah, all we gotta do is pretend like we're a pirate. You know, Daniel likes that. All right, here we go. Off to get Daniel. This is either going to end well or terribly, or both. Who knows? Karen? Got it. Thanks. We oh, jeez. Yeah, no kidding. Anything happens. Let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Yeah, there's Sean? dude over there. Right outside. Oh shit. How many? Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Alright, so we go right through the church. We go through the middle of the church. That's what we do. Okay, call Karen by holding LB and A. Did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point... My folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Ruth? Karen. Everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kinda great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. Okay, so we can't actually go through uh, go through the church itself. Okay. We're gonna have to do be sneaky McSneak face here. Okay, there, so there's the lady there. The side of the church. I'm just gonna follow this dude and hope that no one stops us. Hello, young Hackerman. 
What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to walk... Uh, we weren't done yet. <sighs> Sorry, we're, uh, we're in a rush. Yep, just, just walk, walk Sean, past. What are you doing? Do you want us to get caught? <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't really thinking. Okay. okay, so that didn't work. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. Oh, gee. Uh, can I call Karen? No. Okay. Let's go in. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Okay. I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Of course. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. All right, let's very quickly find find this key. Gotta find a key. Gotta find a key. Mm, might be enough to open that door. Yeah, I don't think we want to break a lock yet. That's a lot That's of pills. A lot of I just said that, dude. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. These these video game characters have really got to stay out of my head. I swear. Nightstand search. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy hour after new diet. He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pouted today after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us and when? Hopefully punishment and soon. We've got to find this key. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I found a key. Good. Hopefully it's the right one. Um, however, I'm also going to very quickly check other things. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother <gasps> got this letter before Jake. Uh-oh. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point right now, and please let Daniel know, without getting him or you in trouble, that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you, and if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Take care, Karen. Crap. You already said- oh. Is everything alright in there? Yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Got it. That's Daniel's room. Yeah. Man. It's depressing. It's very depressing. Well, Jeez. Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions. So. No toys. To no. Uh, prison. Dang. Can we talk to Karen? Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lizbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah. She checks everything. Oh, the cat's gone. Goes into the community. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at this hidden drawing. There's... Aww. Oh, let's pick that up. That's him and Sarah. That's so cute. Bunch of cardboard boxes and more drawings. This is quite the change from Power Bear and Friends. 100% Jesus. Ugh. Alright, let's open this door. <sighs> Locked, of course. By key. <sighs> Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. 
Fine. We'll have to go around. Let's check the closet. Here's Daniel's sweater. At least he didn't throw it away. Let's grab it. Petty liked to have it back. Once he's out of this mess. Um, Dad's blanket. At least he had a memory from home. Let's grab that as well. And that's it from the closet. Okay. Let's go back and try to, um... Okay, we can't call Karen. Go back and, and try to get into this office. Try key. We're not going to break it with the fire extinguisher unless this key doesn't work. If the key doesn't work, then a fire extinguisher. Yes. There we go. That's the one. Oh, perfect. All right. Is this her personal archive or something? Locked yeah. as well. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? Ah, uh, jeez. Walking pneumonia. Elizabeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. And she's gonna catch you guys if you don't hurry up. She has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek. And see how she really treats her flock. Man. What's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? What? Oh, shit. Wanted to cure you from... being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> F that. My father was a freak. A sinner. So you ran away. Is that why you... Ran away? Yep. <laughs> I don't blame him. Five Holy cow. What was up. I was too scared. Confused. Oh, these these people get what they what whatever's coming to them. I I will not feel sorry for them at all. What sins? Tone. For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean, you met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. Yeah, I bet. I I tried to hurt myself. Poor guy. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Poor Jacob. Yeah, let's make this right, let's dude. Make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Better care than here. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. We could have given him the money, but, you know. Uh-oh. What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Oh, crap. He's coming your way. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him 
them out of your way. They'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh-oh. See what you can do. I will. Just be careful, Karen. Don't get shot. Sean, we got to hide. Now. Close that. Hurry up. Uh, closet. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. We are hiding. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Dude, hide. Why didn't the kid, why the hell didn't Jacob hide? Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. And if I find you... Mm. You're not gonna find us in the desk, dude. Oh shit. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Right, come on then. Oh, man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna. Yep. But I want to double check, make sure I, there's nothing left around here to find. Then we can leave. What's this? The fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? What? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Illegally. Man. Okay. We shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Yeah, let's... Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Can we go out the window? Okay, now we're going out the door. Okay. I mean, going out the window, I, I'm all for going out the window. I think going out the window is a lot, lot better than going out the door. But, you know. Look at that. What did she do? Your mom is hard. <gasps> Sean. Holy yeah. cow. He set she... fire to a building. Dang. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's Where's Daniel? Door, okay. All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Where is Daniel? Good luck. We got to find Daniel. Where the hell is he? Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Back of the church, maybe? Let's go in. Damn it, it's locked. Locked, of course. Window, nope. Window, window, nope, nope. Is there a side door anywhere? Nope, can't go in there. Front door? So you know what you're gonna do? Oh geez, oh. Karen just scared the living daylights out of me. Oh Lord, let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble sure. servant and will obey your every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? And I know, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel, 
has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Really? So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel. Really, Daniel? Listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another oh, wow. At our church. That, she's, she's shocked. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Oh my god. Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine... Oh, jeez. And you cast him out. Is there anything the we can do here? Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel. What? Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please. Think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Dan, <laughs> she's responsible Elizabeth is an idiot. for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know it's not enough. I hope we can talk about this together. Maybe over a burger and I'm trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You got to trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the Dang. choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I uh, I that's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Oh, that's where Don't she got it. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Whoa. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas! They're, they're heretics, sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? Oh, crap. Over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth Jeez. won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Um. She went to the doctor. Faith in yourself. Not a real Christian. Um. Uh. Let's say X. I think Daniel would go for X. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Uh, I don't know which one to go for. I don't think B would work.
Y or X? Y or X? Um, crap, 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 crap. Faith in yourself. That's one of the things that Sean has always told Daniel. You have to believe in yourself, dude. So, faith Don't in yourself. listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself. Not in her. But you said heaven and thought existed. Why are you lying? You are right. He's wicked. Unfaithful. Toxic community. This is no place for you. She was kicked out of church. He's adopting you. X, this is no place for you. She's adopting you. Toxic. Ugh. Um. Uh. This is no place for you. Look around you. Do you really want this? It's fine. We've been the worst place nope. since we left Seattle. You found your home here. I think that was the wrong one. Don't let him trick you. Your homework. What would dad say? You're smarter than this. The letter from Karen. What would dad say? What do you think dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But I'm not ready, Sean. Uh-oh. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one... It's going to keep me away from you. I said, stop! <sighs> Don't. Get up. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need... <sighs> Sean! He must learn. Get up. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean, don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Uh, don't hit him. Uh, don't let them do that, Daniel. And again. Get up. A mash, a button mash in here. Time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. for What are You're you gonna doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Don't give up. Can we get up again? Come on. Get up one more time. Come on, dude. You can do this. Nothing. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Thank you. Dad always said, our blood link was the most important thing. You know it. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Leave him alone! Daniel, listen to him! And again. We can do this. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. Oh, he is not good. I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up now. Daniel? Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. Oh, they've pissed off Daniel now. Daniel! Sean! 
There we go. Sorry. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Yeah, the church is falling down around your ears, dudes. Let's get out of there. Come on. Let's go. Grab the gun so no one can use it against us. That's it. Oh, no. No. You started this fire. Oh, you crap. Burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. Well. Ask Daniel to get her out of the way or threaten her. Okay, so the problem is, if we ask Daniel to get her out of the way, that's putting another person in harm. As in, like, making Daniel do our dirty work. Um, so let's, let's threaten her. I said move! Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Okay, that didn't work. Get rid of her. Ask Daniel to get her out of the way. We're not going to kill her. Um, because that would be wrong. She may be a bitch. She may have brainwashed Daniel, but we can't kill her. Right, Daniel, would you kindly gently move her out of the way? Open the door, then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh. Hopefully she leaves the church before, you know... But at least we got out of the church. We've got Daniel. We have escaped. Okay, now what? Hello, Felix. Oh, by the way, it's quiet because the, the music that's playing at the moment is copyrighted music. She wants to go back in the church. Dang. Oh, poor Daniel. He has been through a lot. But, there we go, they got out. Jacob and his sister, Sean and Daniel and Karen, they all escaped. Jacob and his sister are going to go get his sister taken care of. Put her in a hospital where she can uh, get over the pneumonia. And Daniel and Sean are with Karen. And the church is burned down to the ground, as it should be. Poor, poor Daniel. He took a beating. Aww. Um, seatbelt. Seatbelt, Daniel. Seatbelt. Or, but yeah, seriously, Sean is three beatings. Three! Three beatings in just as many days. I mean, the poor guy. To be continued. That, my friends, is the end of episode four. What is gonna happen in episode five? Oh my gosh.